What's up, so squad? It is a special Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So this is a collab. And y'all, well, I can't even get her name out because this is so funny. I came across this video maybe two weeks ago. I was sitting in my living room and um, I don't know what I was looking for on YouTube, but it came up and said, um, Soulful T, I'm calling you out. I said, who is this person? And so many people on YouTube, and I looked at it, it was eight months ago, and I'm just seeing it two weeks ago. So I'll contact her. Her name is Grandma Ray Don't Play. Her link is going to be below. We had a good conversation. She was really nice. I checked out her page. She, guys, she be doing it. She be cooking up some food. And you know what? On her page, she did this thing called, um, the word of the day or advice of the day. I like that little thing that she do. She gives you some advice about life. Um, this is the word of the day. You're keeping things real. I like that. And so um, we chose to do Simon. I want you guys to go over to her page. Show her some love. Her link is going to be in the description below. Look how she do Simon in her home. And I'm going to show you a different way I do Simon in my home. i got a couple of Simon videos, but this is a different way. I'm doing a Simon burger. Yes, guys. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. It's quick and it's easy. So let's get started. I have a nice piece of fresh Simon right here. And I got everything from all these. Believe it or not, I didn't know all these sell um, crab meat now. Not just imitation, but real lump crab meat by Starkist. And they sell fresh salmon, frozen salmon. So I got a piece of this um, fresh salmon, and it still has the skin on it. Since I'm making a salmon burger, I'm gonna, well, if you buy your salmon, you could get it with the skin off. But if it's cheaper to get it with the skin on, I'm take my shoes off, I'm gonna go flat to the ground. When it's cheaper to get it with the skin on, just take a nice, really good sharp knife and just cut that skin off. Let me show you guys. Because since I'm making a burger, the salmon burger, I don't want the skin on there. And just do it till you peel it back. I'm cutting and peeling. See how I'm cutting and I'm pulling. And I'm trying to get all my salmon. But if you're not a cut it better than I do, you know, you'll be, you'll be a pro at it. But I'm cutting. And that's a big piece of salmon for $8.06. It's fresh. See how I'm pulling as I'm cutting it all? Because I am making a salmon burger. So I don't want all this. And when I do salmon, guys, I always like fresh salmon. Look at that. I'm not talking because it takes nice skills, which I don't have. <laughs> and I ain't trying to cut my hair. And forfeit my call and forfeit. She keep calling it a challenge. It's a collab. <laughs> then forfeit my collab. So I'm really, really quiet on here. But look at that. Mm. Boy, if you don't turn that TV down. All right, that's enough. And somebody said, oh, you're doing that wrong. You ain't cutting the skin off right. I'm doing it the way I know how to do it, okay? I'm peel I'm just doing the knife and pulling back. Not trying to take off too much of the meat of my assignments. So I'm doing it. Just gonna keep moving it around. The piece right here. I'm 
cutting it off, guys. It's coming. It's coming off. And you just discard this. Unless you're making some type of seafood soup. I guess you could use it. I don't know. But I'm going to discard it. Look at that. I try not to take too much of my meat. Look, I'm about to get this right there. That's to her. That's Simon right there. Pay too much money let that go. Oh, heck no. Come on, boo-boo. Yes. They go one piece. I ain't letting that go. That's meat. They're going out burger. You got to be kidding. There it is. I'm going to get this little silver back off right there. Okay. So, I'm going to wash this off really quick. Wash my hands. And we're going to come back and put it together. Okay, we back. So, guys, I'm going to cut up my salmon. It's like anyway. Ooh, look at that. I'm just spicing it up because guess what? It has to go in the um, food processor so I could grind it. So I'm just, I didn't want to put it in there whole. So I'm just dicing it. And I'll put it in my food processor. Yes. But you know, you got to make it, got to grind it up. Okay. So this will go in my food processor, which I don't even have available right now. I got to get. We be back. Okay, guys, my salmon is in the food processor. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Look at that. I'm making a salmon burger, people. A couple of pulses. That's all it takes. Take this off. Oh, remove this. Take that over there. I got my bowl ready. Let me grab a spatula. Rinse the spatula off for me. Get my spatula rinse off. Take this blade out. Burgers, guys, use a fresh, fresh, fresh salmon. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna set this to the side. We clean up later. Look at that. And that's just a couple of pulses. That's all it took. Now, to the salmon burger, I'm doing some eight ounce pack of lump crab. Yeah. Look at that. But before I put that in there, the crab meat, I want to add in like two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. That's fresh lemon juice, guys. I want to put a right on that salmon along with some of my flour. Now, if you have my flour, use it for taste. And we're not seasoning this because all the seasoning I need is in this flour. Remember, the flour is going to help bind. And that's about maybe four tablespoons. But along with that, I'm still going to use one egg. But I really want this to really stick together. I'm going in now with all of my crab meat. Again, the crab meat has so much flavor. Then we're going to top it with some regular old plain breadcrumbs. 
about a cup. And I'm using my hands. But while we doing all that, let me turn the stove on. Okay, guys. So, just a quick FYI. If you don't have my seasoned flour, of course, use all-purpose flour. About maybe, again, three to four tablespoons. But season your meat with some salt and pepper. Mm, excuse me. Maybe with some onion powder, garlic powder. Whatever it takes, you know, to get that flavor in. I'm not using this anymore. I'm going it with my hands. Yes. I saw, you know what? And look, Grandma Ray called me and said, I'm just going to let you know I'm going to be talking smack. I said, well, it's good smack and it's coming from a good place. I'm good with it. Talk to all the smack you want. But Grandma Ray, why are you challenging me? I'm just going to put it all on the table, boo. I'm putting it all on the table. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all on the table. Yeah. And along with this flour and the egg. Look at that patty. Hmm. And this is only gonna cook. I got my oven. I got my oven. <laughs> I got my stove on. Letting that grease get hot. Just some vegetable oil, like three tablespoons. That's it. You're not like doing a deep fry. I'm just trying to do something different. Simon dinner. Look at this. That look amazing. Where my chopping board? I have me the brown chopping board behind you, son. And every time I make a video, y'all get used to that phone noise. Why my grease getting hot? I'm pulling these patties. And how big salmon you use and how much crab meat you use is depending on your family size. It's up to you. Nice. Again, this is going to take about maybe four minutes. Three to four minutes on each side. I'm just letting that grease get hot. We're not doing a deep fry. Just want to lay it in enough grease so they don't stick. Tell me, your husband, you want something different? And I'm making ghetto sauce because I had a lot of new subscribers. Somebody said, oh, you just needed some ghetto sauce. It's like, but what's ghetto sauce? We're going to show you today in this video. It's seafood. It's a seafood sandwich. Not a seafood. It's a salmon cake. Fresh salmon cake and crab. Hmm. It's a twist. And this somebody's baby right there. Ooh, wild away crab meat, but that's okay. We'll move this to the side. Again, I have to wash my hands. Cut. Okay, guys. Let's put our salmon burgers in here. You think I'll get in there? Four. I could get four up in there. Yes. There they go. Let them cook. About a good four minutes on each side. Yes. Grandma Ray, I don't know what type of smack you're talking, honey, but yeah, I know it's good. I got love for you. I love your channel. But you ain't got nothing on this right here. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> okay guys, they're ready to flip. Again, about four minutes. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Grandma Ray, I always been told to respect my elders, but in the kitchen, it's every woman for themselves. Look at that. Hmm. We're going to saute some shrimps, make some ghetto sauce. I got some brioche bums toasted. We're going to put some ghetto sauce on top of it. If you come to my kitchen, you better go correct. I got you. 
I got you. Hey! Beautiful golden. Yes. Look at that. Four minutes on each side. Medium heat. My salmon burger. If you never had a salmon burger before, use this recipe. His recipe. <laughs> Use this recipe and you're going to love Simon Bur Bur Burger. I guarantee you that. <laughs> so for me, I got my pan turned up. I got a tablespoon of unsalted butter right here in my skillet. I have some shrimps right here that's been deveined. And I peeled them. And again, shrimps. That's the four minutes, guys when they turn orange. This is gonna be wonderful, wonderful. You hear what I'm telling you? Wonderful, see how they even start, look how they started to turn orange already? I didn't even tap the Old Bay on it. And if you don't have Old Bay, if you just want to look, yes, yeah, you always sprout no. I'm getting them in there. Make it real for them. Making this a one pan stock for all you need. Look at that. I'm gonna take some Obey seasoning. I'm putting some Obey seasoning. Remember, as much as you like. Oop. That's enough for me. Yeah. Tell me that's not gonna be good. Hmm. I don't even know what to say. This is going to be the best, 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 best Simon's um, burger. Let's watch those cook for a few minutes. Grandma Ray, what's your side dish? You know, we say Simon, how we do it in our kitchen. I don't know what you're doing. I think you're making complete dinner, and which is good. I'm making a burger. It's some. It's not some. <laughs> it's fall, but guess what? You can never go wrong with a good seafood burger, some type of burger, some a burger that's iconic. And when you can take that burger and make it into a Simon, a Simon burger, hmm, something's going right over here, and something's going right over here. These shrimp smelling so good. Not ready to sauce and flip yet, guys. Not ready. So that one is that one is gonna help themselves, right? Mmm. You tell me my house don't smell good. My house smells beautiful, people. And just got home from school said, I'm just in time. Yes, you are. Look at my shrimp. We're going to be back when these are done. Put the sauce together. Okay, guys, look. There go my shrimps. They're done. The salmon burger's done. The butter is on the stove for my brioche rolls. Everything at all these. Everything at all these. I'm going in with some butter. Let that get toasted. While that's doing what it do, we got some mayonnaise right here. New Soul Squad members, welcome to the ghetto sauce. Some mayonnaise. I'm gonna have a recipe below. Some ketchup. Ugh. Vinegar, some Old Bay seasoning, just a tiny bit. Hand me the hot sauce and honey. I like some honey. Mmm. 
and a hot sauce. You can make it spicy. You just put it in there for the taste. But look at that. How many did I do? I don't even count. Mmm. And you just stir it up. Oh, you can smell the hot sauce. Look at that. This ghetto sauce with your favorite seafood dish. Let's check these buns. Okay, they almost there. Look at that. Tell me that ain't just right. Y'all, yes, but I'm talking trash. Go check out Grandma Ray's channel. Her link's gonna be below. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Nice to have a conversation with you. You know what I'm saying? YouTube is so big. It's a wonderful platform. I done met me another good person on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Let me taste that. Ooh. There it is. They got my bun too. Mmm. I like that one. Look at the crispiness around the side. We taking this one out. We gonna lay that right there. Mmm. Mmm. Turn the oven off. We're gonna put this together. Yes, yeah, should I put it on a plate? Or oh, how should I do it? I don't know. But it's gonna be done right. Open up this lettuce. Always take the whole thing. I was out there and put my lettuce in the sandwich bag. Cut me up some lettuce. Mmm. Fresh. So I should get a plate, right? I'll put my sauce right here on that bun. And I'm dealing with seafood. You don't want a dry burger. Never want a dry burger, right? Take some of this lettuce. Top it just like this. How much lettuce you want? Hey, that's up to you. Remember, your kitchen, your way. It's your sandwich. You're going to do it your way, right? Then, grab some tomatoes. Mmm. And I like when that tomato juice drip down on your sandwich. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wonderful. Look at that. Now, I don't even know what to put on here next. Which one? This one looks pretty. Let's do this one. But guess what? I'm going to do it like this. I need to lay it flat. I'm trying to get it with my sandwich lay flat. I'm going to put these tomatoes on there. But I don't know. Let's just see. Let's just see what we're working with here. Okay, we got to put this sandwich together right. We're going to put the shrimps at the bottom. I know somebody was yelling. Yeah, put the shrimps at the bottom. How many? Four? Four shrimps at the bottom. Now we're going to add... Oh, there it is. Now we're going to add a little bit more salt. It's up to you. It's your kitchen, your way. Now we're going to add some lettuce. And the lettuce already got salt on it. Just because, I don't know, we got to get it right. There you go. Now the tomatoes. So I wanted to sit together on the bun right. Now some more sauce. How much sauce? Y'all gonna take too much, a whole lot of knowledge to build the perfect burger? The perfect burger? Now I like that. Mm. That look good. But I don't need to clean all this mess up. But y'all can see what it really look like. Mmm. These shrimps is wonderful. We're going to be back. Okay, Grandma Ray, I am complete. What I did to my salmon, I made a burger. I added some shrimps. And as you guys can tell, I got a lot more sandwiches to make. But guys, check out Grandma Ray Don't Play. Tell her I sent you over there. Guys, see what she's doing in her kitchen, her way, with her Simon. Because this is what I did in my kitchen. And guys, let me tell you, this is the best salmon burger that you will ever taste. Follow the recipe. Let me know. Send me a pic. Until next time, guys, like, share, subscribe. And I'm out.